So it's Thanksgiving week. What are you thankful for? Well, I, for one, am thankful for coffee. Thank you very much. (laughs) Good morning, my friends. Pardon my puffy face. I literally just jumped out of bed like moments ago. The sun's not fully even completely up over there. But I wanted to hop on and talk about this because it's Thanksgiving week. We're coming up to Thanksgiving on Thursday, and it's this video is, is going out on Monday. And it's I wanted to make sure that I discussed this before Thanksgiving because you know oftentimes people wait until the last minute to be thankful, and I think it's more important to be thankful early, to be thankful first. You know, forgiveness. I think it should be forgiveness to give it first and and early. Same thing for, with, with being thankful. I think we need to be thankful early. In fact, b- being thankful is a major part of how I create things into my life. I'm, I'm thankful for them. You know, I start off my, my, my personal um, creation prayer, as it were, saying, you know, thank you, God. And... To be thankful of something means you, you believe you're receiving it. You know, thank you, thank you. Or you believe you have received it, thank you, right? But if you think about all the things in your life to be thankful for, you know, I'm thankful for you guys. I mean, you allow me to speak my truth. You allow me to put myself out there authentically. Um, and... I end up having um, really joyful days because I'm expressing who I am, and I'm thankful for being me. I'm thankful for the the fact that I can go out in the world and I can and I can share love. I'm thankful that that you are open to receiving it. I'm thankful that I've got this amazing son who's growing up to be an amazing man. Um, I'm thankful that I can live in a warm house while I do that work. I'm thankful. You know, when you think about gratitude in in general, to be grateful, to be thankful, it comes down to this this idea of inner contentment. You know, I'm grateful for that I have this. I'm thankful that this is this this thing that I am expressing gratitude for allows me to exhale a little bit more. And the more we exhale, the more we release the fears and the anxieties of the world. And to be thankful is a choice. Because many people will sit in the same moment with with the same things to be thankful for and will still stay focused on their past and what they're a victim of and their, their actual direction of vision and d- looking backwards or looking forwards, being very present about what's what's right in their life, what things are happening. And it's a matter of living optimistically or pessimistically, really. And there's so many things in this world to be thankful for. <laughs> Let's start on the, on, the, on, the, on the giant scale, right? I'm thankful there's gravity so we all, we all don't spin off into space. Right, right. I'm glad there's an atmosphere so we can breathe. Right. I'm thankful that we have created this environment for us to you know, dive or thrive, because we get the choice of being grateful or or looking backwards. It comes down to the idea of that gratitude. That 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 space is a feeling and a choice. And you can choose to be thankful. You can choose to recognize what's good in your world. And you can choose to make more of that, please. The more grateful, the more thankful you are for it, the more you're telling God, more of that, please. The more you put your focus on the positive outcomes, the more you get those things. And so this week, this entire week, and the rest of your life, start everything with being grateful. I am thankful for not only the things that are happening in my life now, but the things that are coming. And when those bad things come, and, you know, things are bad only by choice as well. Shakespeare said, there is nothing good nor bad 
but thinking makes it so. When my mother passed, many people, you know, my, my sister was, was devastated. And I had had the, the beautiful moment that I'm so thankful for that I got to talk to mom about death and crossing and, and what that was and how her whole life had been towards seeing Jesus and she was going to get the chance to do that. And, you know, she was in her upper 80s and she was, she was having a tough time, right? But I'm so thankful that I get the chance to talk to her about that. I'm so thankful that she told me and we had a chance to talk about, you know, the fact that when she crosses over, she's going to get everything she's ever asked for. So when it came down to her eulogy that I did at her funeral, I, we laughed. We laughed about the things that, who she was and who she was. And I'm so thankful to have that person in my life, to be, to be able to look back at her joyfully. At, at her funeral, the only, the only time I really cried was when I looked over at the person who lived across the street from her, who was so loving and so caring and so really treated my mother with that beauty of that love. And I was so thankful for that neighbor who showed my mother in Florida that beautiful things are, are there. So as you're going through this week and the rest of your life, think about the things you're thankful for. Think about not only the things that you're thankful for in your present, but go ahead and be thankful for the things you are receiving. Because when you're thankful for things you're receiving, you get better stuff. <laughs> and um, I just wanted to hop on and make this video today um, so that you know, we can really start to create the world we want. You guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. See ya.